group of congressmen led by 8th District Rep Pete Stauber spent today touring and hearing about mining opportunities on the range. However, as Northern News Now's Larissa Millis reports, their visit with, was met with some resistance from constituents who say their representative is not listening to them. It's uh, my pleasure to welcome my colleagues. Uh, with the flank of fellow Republican congressmen at his side, Representative Pete Stauber hosted a field hearing on mining in Mountain Iron Tuesday. Mining is our past, our present, and our future, and I can tell you our future is bright. Tuesday morning, Stauber and his cohort of members from the House Committee on Natural Resources toured New Range Copper Nickel before the hearing. Stauber says current permitting processes and bans on mining are detrimental to Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. But sadly, we are not currently mining any of these precious metals due to onerous permitting regimes, bad decisions made by activist administrations, and of course, endless litigation. Specifically, Stauber pointed to a 20-year ban the Biden administration recently put on mining within the Boundary Waters Canoe Area watershed. That ban directly impacts Twin Metals, which has proposed building an underground copper nickel mine, a project Stauber has supported. The Biden administration put that ban in play due to environmental concerns. A group of people who protested Tuesday's hearing are worried about that too. We know that there are alternatives to uh, copper nickel mining in this water rich environment and we'd like to have had people that would talk about that. Again, not just industry spokespeople who are promoting it. The hearing featured three witnesses called by the all Republican committee representatives present Tuesday. Those witnesses included a rep from Talon Metals, a geologist from Big Rock Exploration, and the owner of a wilderness lodge in Ely. This is not a balanced discussion, and I'm sure he will use what he learns today to advance his proposal. Stauber says all of the Democratic members of the committee were invited, but declined to attend and call their own witnesses. In Mountain Iron, Larissa Millis, Northern News Now. In March, the House passed the Lower Energy Costs Act, which Stopper and fellow Republicans say would expedite the process of permitting for energy resources like oil, gas, and minerals. They say they are now calling on the Senate to do the same.